Hello everyone, I thought I would talk to you about uh, some of my uh, struggles with uh, OCD uh, as a writer and as a person. Now OCD is the only um, mental uh, disorder that I've been officially diagnosed with. And um, I received it as a child and I, of course OCD is obsessive uh, compulsion disorder. You have a, an obsession and then in order to alleviate it you, you have to do something uh, you have to have some kind of compulsive habit in order to alleviate the obsession. Of course, I would say that I lean far more towards the obsession part of it than the compulsive aspect now. But, of course, I do have a few uh, compulsions. Now, as a child, it was because I, uh, I, yawning irritated me as a child for some reason. So every time um, I would hear someone yawn, I would have to uh, touch a wall. Now, I don't really know why I did that. I don't do it anymore. But that's why I was initially diagnosed. But I can still suffer from it occasionally now. I usually don't suffer from one particularly from one particular compulsion through, uh, throughout my uh, life. It's usually I'll, I'll suffer from from different compulsions in, in different um, areas or, or or periods in time. So, for example, uh, today I become obsessed with. Um, writing a good last sentence during a writing session. So if I'm uh, writing and I don't like the last thing that I wrote, then sometimes I'll think, well, I need to keep writing until I write something that I do like, because uh, otherwise somehow I'm not a good writer if I have to end on a bad note. And of course, sometimes I have to suck it up and quit, but uh, that's definitely uh, an obsession uh, that I have. Another thing is that during conversations, occasionally, like, if I'm having a conversation with someone, and um, there's a point I want to make, and then but the conversation is interrupted, so I don't get to make the point, either because another person comes in or the topic has suddenly changed, I often won't be able to let the conversation go until I make my point. So sometimes, uh, hours later, after the conversation was initially interrupted, I'll try to make the point, and then someone will say, well, I thought we've already discussed that topic. Yeah, but I didn't get to make my point. So sometimes I'll... I'll obsess over making a point long after a conversation has ended if I didn't get to make it. Another thing is that I I can become very obsessed before I go to bed with making sure that there isn't anything uh, too close to the edge of like a desk or a table or on my nightstand so it may fall during the night and wake me up. So I will often uh, turn off the light three or four times uh, checking to make sure nothing is too close to the edge, especially because occasionally my uh, fan can uh, fall in the floor because I sleep with several fans in order to uh, f f for a white noise so I can sleep. But sometimes a fan will fall in the floor and w and it will make a, a lot of noise. So I, I I'm obsessed with making sure that that nothing is too close to the edge, and so that, that's another obsession that I have. So I have several different uh, obsessions and uh, compulsions. And uh, it can be, a, and now the, the good side is that I can often obsess over my work and getting things right. So there can be a positive element, but it can also be destructive as well because uh, um, having um, obsessive compulsive disorder can, can take up a lot of time in your life and you can end up uh, wasting a lot of energy on things that ultimately don't matter in the end. So it is a struggle.